Hey everybody, uh, Tom Britt here. I'm at the Holy Spirit at Geis, which is right behind me. This is the place to park tomorrow if you're coming out to see the Geis fireworks. Um, it's a short walk. It's probably uh, from the back of the lot all the way to the bridge is maybe about a half a mile or so. Maybe a little bit more than that, about five-eighths of a mile. Um, but this is the place to park tomorrow if you don't live in the area and you don't know anybody in the area. This is the place to park to get to the Geist Fireworks. Now we anticipate a very large crowd tomorrow night. Uh, a lot of the local fireworks have, shows have been canceled um, for fire hazard reasons and we understand that. Um, Geist is actually in Indianapolis. Um, and we actually shoot off of water so they said hey uh, we're good to go tomorrow night so we're, we're really anxious to put on the best fireworks show we think in town. Um, other little housekeeping things for tomorrow night. Bring cash with you if you intend to buy alcohol or food or anything like that on the bridge. Uh, there will not be ATM machines there this year, so that's a, a change from last year. Um, also, you can bring coolers, you can bring soft drinks and waters, and you can bring all that kind of stuff on there. Lawn chairs, blankets. Um, I would recommend bring a flashlight. When it gets dark, when the, when the fireworks are over, you might want your own flashlight to help you and your family get back to your car. But the only thing you can't bring out is you can't bring out um, uh, alcohol onto the bridge. Now once you get there you can buy it, just bring your ID, um, but you can't bring it on with you. We're going to have a station set up at each end of the bridge, um, and those stations will be set up checking coolers, but also just kind of giving you the lay of the land, where things are, you can ask questions, where are the restrooms, those kinds of things. Um, the itinerary for tomorrow night, the bridge is going to close at 5.30, so all vehicles will be cut off at 5.30. Nobody get on the bridge from 5.30 on. Uh, 6 o'clock is going to reopen to the, um, um, to the um, patrons, the, the visitors, uh, us, people. <laughs> Sorry, I was kind of lost for words there. Um, it's going to be back open for everybody to get across the bridge at that point. And that's when the bridge is going to open up. That's when all the vendors open up. That's when everything kind of starts. At 7... 15 that's when the boat parade is going to come through so the boat parade that starts about six o'clock we'll run around the south end of the lake it comes up and the judging happens between 7 15 and 7 30 um, on the south side of the bridge so if you want to come up and see that we've got a lot of boats coming in this year with a showing their favorite team spirits so that should be interesting um, and then at eight o'clock the Gordon Pipers are going to come across the bridge and they it's kind of a ceremony they do where they march across the bridge playing the bagpipes and they um, um, play the national anthem, and it's all kinds of neat stuff happens today. Um, we also have the band My Yellow Rickshaw, which was here last year, a crowd favorite. They're so they're really really good. They're going to start playing at 7:30. They're going to take a break at 8, and then they're going to come back and play until 10 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, we're going to have um, the live simulcast. Um, it'll be going on the radio um, at the at the event itself, but also um, through the whole city, and it's going to be on um, 94.1 FM. Uh, we'll be broadcasting it live. We also have a partnership with WJJK, which is a 104.5 FM. So be listening for those. Um, should be a great evening tomorrow night. The weather's going to be hot. Bring lots of water with you. Um, try to get there early. We anticipate a very, very big crowd tomorrow. Like I said, Carmel Fest is uh, was canceled. Uh, Connor Prairie doesn't have fireworks tomorrow night. Westfield doesn't have fireworks tomorrow night. So a lot of the local fireworks have been banned or, or, or they decide not to do them. And uh, Geist will be one of the few spots you can go to tomorrow night and see fireworks. So we anticipate a big crowd, but be patient tomorrow. Park at Holy Spirit. Bring cash with you and enjoy the show. And most of all, please make a donation. Uh, this whole thing is funded through volunteers or funded by uh, donations. And it's all done by volunteers. Nobody's making a dime on this. So um, if you guys can make a donation, they would greatly appreciate it. All those dollars go right back into our community to help fund the lake improvement projects, um, which happen year-round, not just once a year. So thank you, Guys Lake Coalition. If you want more information about the Geist Fireworks, and I'm here at my gym now, go to uh, geistlake.org. See you tomorrow.